What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Lifestyle Podcast. I am your host, Sonic. And I'm your co-host, Snuff. Well, pretty much. To get into the ball rolling, I had a brain fart the other day when I was reading an article. I keep on seeing these random Teslas get fully wide-bodied out, air ride. Do you ever see that becoming an actual thing in the car scene? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, listen, anybody can wide body and airbag anything. It doesn't matter what it is, and it'll still be a dope build mm -hmm. because they can do it. But the fact of the matter being is sooner or later, they're going to stop offering Teslas in all these fancy colors. They're taking away the metallics, and eventually they're going to blend in the background with every other matte car that you see on the road. I mean, okay, all right. That's an interesting one. So you, you really, from your perspective, you don't see it catching on. Like you don't see it ever becoming a thing, thing that, let's say, for example, the next hot import nights that we go to, there's not going to be best electric car or uh, best Tesla. All right. Well, maybe 20 years from now, like ready for this. Nobody thought a 240 would be the shit today. Nobody okay. thought. Okay. Granted. Uh, um, Toyota Cres uh, Cresilla. Cre what? Cresilla? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The four-door sedan that everybody fucking swings anyway. Okay, Nobody yes, Nobody thought yes. that that would be a thing today. Okay, true. 20 years from now, when you see that Tesla, that, that Model X on the floor. With no batteries. With a <laughs> wide body, you'll be like, oh my God, look at that. But if you see it today, you're going to be like, yeah, that's pretty cool, but you're not going to stop and have to stare at it and take pictures mm -hmm. of it. It's, it's a cool car, and it is what it is, and guess what? Somebody so, threw a bunch of money at it. Okay, so, you, so your mentality is more of it's, it's, it's just a little, like, small gimmick. As of now, oh, I don't want to say anything with Tesla's gimmick because Elon Musk will hey, hear this and he'll come they're gonna, after. They're going to come after you. Yeah, Snuff is his name, by the way. Elon. Oh, just, God. just letting you know, Elon. His name is Snuff. <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, is it cool? Yes. Is it a fad? Mm, time will tell, I guess. Hmm. The, I am interested and curious, just because. Okay, I like the white bodies. There's a few on Instagram that I've seen. I, if I find the IG pages, I'll, I'll post it up. But um, they look good. And they're, they're, there's, there's a small niche of the market that they're doing a whole mess of stuff in carbon fiber. Eyelids, uh, front lips, side skirts, full wide bodies. So our BMWs, continue. Yeah, I know that. But my saying is, do you, I, I get your point. You don't see it really catching on. It's going to be like the random show that has the exotic category yep, in it. Exactly that. A million shows we'll go to out of the a million shows that we go to, maybe three or four will have best exotic class. Okay. And that one motherfucker is going to take it. Because oh, absolutely. God I bless him. He was able to pull out a Lambo out of his ass and <laughs> put 22s on it and call it a day. But that's besides the point. Okay, so I get it. I get it. You're, you're more of a, it's just a fad. It's, it's cool now. It's cool now, but will it be? Will it be as cool 20 years from now? Probably, hmm. but that 20 years from now, that's when it'll be the real hype. True. True. Um, but speaking about that, actually, it's pretty funny because I'm pretty sure the people that have sold their old the like E30s or E36s or they're old kicking Sylvia's, themselves in the ass they must right be now. kicking themselves in the ass now oh, because God. I'm pretty sure the market 10 years from 10 years ago or like 15 years ago was what? Fifteen hundred bucks maybe for the car. You Four hundred and take it out of my driveway, please. Find an unmolested E thirty six for less than ten grand. No shot, no way. And you're if right, you do find right. it, it's like in a barn or some old lady owns it. I found red. Well, I told you the story, but I found red in Teaneck, New Jersey, in an old lady's house in her driveway with a tree on it. <laughs> Similar story with the Audi. I mean, you know, yeah. people will find those cars, but you're never gonna find a fucking Tesla, like unless you're in like Saudi Arabia and they leave in the middle of the desert. True. Dude, I you, would hate you, to you're not gonna find, change those batteries. Find some old lady who's holding on to her Tesla 20 years from now saying, no, I don't really drive it. Here, take it for 10 grand. Not going to happen. And no, granted. Uh, I don't ever see myself. Don't get Well, let me rephrase myself. I would drive one, but I think I'll have that paranoia if I'm going to run out of battery by the time I'm like from here to Atlantic City, or do I need to charge before? No, you'd have to plan your trip. A buddy of mine took his down to Florida. He had to mm. stop four or five times, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. At different little locations, like to just to charge up. Right, yeah, I forgot. They have that super network or whatever it is. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a dope idea, but longevity-wise, all right, same thing with gas. You're going to have to stop to fuel up. Yeah, true. But okay. 
the batteries are going to get worn down. I don't know how well these batteries are made. I'm not, you know, a scientist and such, but eh, I don't see it yeah. lasting 20 plus years on the same stock battery. If it does, God bless it. I, more power to it. That's sure. when it'll be extra cool. Okay, you, have, you bring up a good valid point. You do bring up a good valid point. Uh, you know what it is too about these, uh, this electric car thing? No sound. Yeah. I'm so used no, to no. the Flowmaster uh, and the Borla. Look at Ford. What, they're, what did Ford do? So they're gonna pump a sound through the audio system so it feels like you're actually in a, a, like a muscle car. Oh, no kidding, that's a thing. Yeah, man. <sighs> I don't know. Synthetic so ear fake. sex. Uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> Synthetic ear sex. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, folks. Um, damn, I got to read that one. I didn't even know they were going to do that. I mean, I, I would assume they got to do something. It, listen, Ford's known from being muscle cars and pickup trucks, right? True, yes. The people, the particular people who buy those are the people who want to hear their car, mm -hmm. who want to get that rush. Trust me, hitting the gas and just getting sucked into your chair <laughs> and hearing silence is not the rush. I mean, yes, it's fun. I've been in one. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter being is people want to hear that acceleration. People want to hear that roar. People want... No, pe I know. Exactly. I'm one of those. I'm one of those. Like, it's... I can't have a car that's stock with no muffler on it, at least because I, it drives me freaking insane. And I actually grow bored driving. Like, I enjoy the tone. I enjoy the sound. So, well, no, I'm, I'm with you with that. What well, sets you apart from traffic. I, you know what Exactly. I mean? Yeah, it's one of those things. So, I mean... Would I ever hook up one? Would you ever hook one up, like fully customize it, if you had a chance? Not even if I had a million dollars. Really? Nope. Really? Nope. nope. Not even if Elon, like, miraculously was like, hey, I like this podcast. All right, so ready for I'm this? Gonna, I'm going to send these guys some uh, Tesla. Caitlin, my fiance, which works for a company. Elon, I'm not saying no, but snuff is. Oh, I'll take God, it. Stop. <laughs> um, Caitlin works for a, co a certain company uh -huh. where they just got bought out by a very high, high dollar person. Okay. Guy seems to be really awesome. I, I got to watch a couple of things he's done for charity mm -hmm. and such. Okay. Great guy. Him and Elon are actually planning on the SpaceX thing. So I would not be surprised if they didn't listen to this. No kidding. True story. Okay. I mean, I don't need, I don't need the high-end model. I can, I can take a Model 3. What about you, Snuff? Oh, I he doesn't want one. I'll take it. from anybody. I'm not asking for anything. <laughs> what they're doing is enough. Um, but would I ever take one and use it to go out racing or into car shows? Absolutely not. It doesn't, really? it doesn't get me going. It's not enough for me. Okay. My different approach to it is, be, well, because you know this well, I love tinkering and cutting stuff up. That's like your addiction. That's my thing. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Give me a Dremel, leave me alone. I'll be the happiest motherfucker in the world. That's just how it goes. I would love to get my hands on one and just really <sighs> think outside the box. The sticker alone. do... The shit that hasn't been done yet. To Financially me. handicapped. Does that mean anything to you? No, yeah, 100%. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Fucking five million projects at home. <laughs> oh, man. And I can't even use one. But I would. I really would love to, like, really, like, balls deep, bro. Just get in there, get a Dremel, start chopping shit up, and, oh, a vent looks good over here, and then let's make this functional and this and that. Well, maybe not so much of a, of a vent on a hood because it, that's the trunk and... You know, your stuff. The funk. Away. Whatever. The funk. Whatever the hell it's called. But um, I would. I really would. I, you really I, wouldn't? You no, know, you're reaching. You're reaching Seriously? hard. Absolutely. No, really. Like, okay. You don't like the, the SUV? Perfect example of the, the, of model the Tesla? The is cool for what it is. But the only time I really do like it is when, like, these rappers go into, like, West Coast Customs. Like, um, the one guy from the Migos, he did an all-red Model X. Ooh, okay. Yeah, red leather, red red uh, carpet, red mm -hmm. everything. It, it was nasty. I love it. Mm -hmm. But that's as far as it goes for me because would I want to drive that around? Absolutely not. It's a cool thing to look at, but would I want to own one? Nope. <sighs> Again, I think it's more of the... You know it's going to be problematic. You, no, of, you course, change, of course it's going to be You change out a headlight, there goes $500. $500? You're scratching your head wondering what the fuck happened. Seriously? Welcome to my life. No, no. For, for everyone that has a second-gen Cadillac CTS, I'm pretty sure you're going to already know where I'm going with this. When you want to swap your damn headlights for the Xenons, and you have to drop your bumper <laughs> to swap them off. I got the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Stupid-ass headlights and bumper. Nissan killed me with the ballast right under the headlight. Like, what are they thinking? True, true. We, I mean, we can get into that. <laughs> we can get into that. But to not even, you know, drive too far away from it. I swear, I, like, going back to it, I really would love to get my hands on one just for the fa simple fact of what could I do? I'm going to stop you right there and, and 
put, make your dick really limp. Oh, Jesus. All right, all your cars have custom paint. Yes. What do you do now? What do you mean? Okay, so ready for this? They're taking away certain colors from the Teslas. Sooner oh, or later, okay. you're going to get these corny colors where you're not getting those pearls. You're not they're getting sticking, those flexes. sticking with the basics. Like the old school yeah, ways. They're, they're, that's how they're doing it. What now? What are you going to do? Now you got to paint one of these. You know how much you're going <laughs> to... You better take out a second mortgage. Leave your testicle on the, at the desk, dude. Okay. You're done. Okay. Smoked. Well... You're a paint guy. I am a paint guy. I am a paint guy. But we're, we're going to get into that now, actually, just because of that. Will I sit there and literally dump four or five grand, six grand on a paint job because it's be for real? It's going to be more than that. No, no. Don't get me wrong. Even a... F okay. A fully three-stage, four-stage paint job done at a actual professional shop. And all you're bringing them is like to say the pearls from House of Color. Okay. Or the metal flakes. That's it. Everything else they're doing. You're just literally supplying the $50 little freaking tambucho or freaking... I'm sorry, I just went straight Cuban <laughs> on the freaking pocket. <laughs> but anyway, the small little tub of damp flake. Yeah. That's all it is. They do everything else. You're still in there practically four at that point is it really worth it for that ready for this wrap it but wrap will never get the crevices that paint does nope depends who you go to as an installer because i know people who do door champs really yep that's interesting because i can only imagine how tedious Oh, no, it's a pain in the dick. Oh, it is. Okay. Absolutely. You're going okay. to regret the day your mother gave birth to you. <laughs> I'll stick with paint. <laughs> I'll stick with paint just for that but reason. ready for this? When the next person wants to buy it, you can say, oh, yeah, this is the wrap. You can go get a new one. And they're not dedicated to that color. Okay, true. You are more open to the market if the, the bottom line is to, you know, I'll enjoy it, wrap it, do a few shows, do whatever I want to do, and then get rid of it. Wow, look at you saying there's benefits to wrap. Small benefits, very small benefits. Okay, perfect example. Um, I'm not going to use Caitlyn's color. I'm going to use somebody else's because like she'll lose her copy. mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 10 more people will copy that color, and then she'll probably kill me in my sleep and collect the insurance and buy a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> um, a half of a Tesla. Um, but the fact of the matter being is like those metallic wraps where they have a little bit of flake in it or mm -hmm. sparkly, that kind of measures up to paint nowadays. They got the gloss, they got the sparkle, and sometimes, let's be honest, that paint's hard to lay. You, you have to go to somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. True. You can't go to your homeboy who paints cars on the weekend. Mm -hmm. You have to go to somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. But now, get sort of the same the goes with vinyl, or no? Listen, if I can lay vinyl, come on. No, it's different. I've seen you, I've seen you rap, and you can rap. I've, uh, I've always said that to you. You, you, know what, you know what the hell you're doing. But a serious installer, perfect example, D'Angelo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him out there. Okay. Uh, Joker King on Instagram. Real cool peoples. Yeah, oh, my God. Mean little E36 project that he's working on, too. Go check that out. Um, he can rap almost. You want to rap a bowling ball, motherfucker can rap a bowling ball. <laughs> Crevices, <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Uh -huh. The parts of your body where you don't want to touch, I bet you he could rap it. I bet you a million dollars he could. That's interesting. I've seen him get into cracks and crevices, unexplainable. I've always wanted to have, like, pearlescent nuts, but whatever. Pearlescent Continue. nuts. That's, I mean, that's where that's your the brain first goes. Thing that's, that's the first thing I wrote. Oh, man, they'll love that. <laughs> They're sparkly, babe. And now you got a reason to play with them. <laughs> She's going to shine a little light on them. Now you got a disco ball in the room. Um, but I've seen him get into cracks and crevices. And I'm just like, all right, that's something paint can do. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm with you and I'm not with you just because... I'm old school. Give me, give me something that's not a beneficial part of rap. The whole fading part. Oh, paint does the same thing. What are we talking about? Yes, but it does it in a longer period of time. All right, ready for this? Let's just say I take my car to the track. You take mm -hmm. your car to the track. You got paint. I got a rap. We got the same exact car. Right. Me and you hit the same fucking table on its side doing the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? I can rip my rap off and do it right there on the fucking spot, and my, my shit will look minty. And because I wrap a panel, it'll blend in with the rest of the car, and you'll never know the difference. But depending on the color, don't you get that fade from Not the sun necessarily. compared to... You can always compound and always clean up. Same thing with wraps. Some wraps, rather, I should say. Okay, I was going to say, I'm like, you sure you want to sit there and somebody's going to buff their car and look like email us? No, yeah, no. <laughs> Yo, bro, this ripped. <laughs> depending on the wrap, some materials bring it back to life. Mm -hmm. 
No kidding. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I have been more open to the rap stuff. You helped me do my hood. You did the roof on my CTS. You know, you've done Amanda's hood, Amanda's fender, and everything else. So um, I am more open to it, and I can see the benefits of it, as in you don't want to sit there and sand. Nobody wants to do that. Do no, you? no, I know, I know. You, well, you, you taught me how to rap. So I literally did my girl's <laughs> her hood. You tried to do the opposite CTS hood. Yes. Uh, the opposite, the V hood. Uh, we did the V the hood. The V hood, rather, I should say. Um, and you did the fender. There we go. That was the whole thing. But um, do I see the benefit of it? Yes. In the long run, I can kind of see it. You don't want to sit there, sand, primer, paint, clear, wait a little bit, clear again, orange peel, you know, wet sand, buff again. You, you hate yourself. Yeah, I kind of wanted to set the car on fire when I was doing the hood, too, <laughs> because I had to freaking lay it like f five times. All the <laughs> material you bought was like... No, no, no. That was good vinyl, yes, what I yes, got for the yes. hood. You just hate that brand, and we're not going to say it I'm not going to say their name because <laughs> it'll blow them up, and they'll but hate us forever. I enjoyed, I enjoyed their material. I do enjoy their material. It, okay. has, it has the air channels, and it works, and it's you know, sticky and clingy until you really lay it on. Then it starts really to stick, and then you really want to set the car on fire, but that's the You'd have been better off for day. buying from, like, Tech Wrap or, or like, Faro or well, Paradox I or mean, I'm a beginner. Car Like. I'm or, a beginner. And this was my first rodeo, so I was like, whatever, never again. I will tell you something, though. What? It wasn't a bad job what you did. Remember, we came back the, the following week, we fixed the imperfections. Yes. yes. And for it to hold up a week in Jersey weather and still be able to come out and fix their imperfections shows a little bit of something about that vinyl. So that's kind of cool. I told you to have some hope in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have hope in everything. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. You do. Sometimes way too much. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Hope like you know what it is. I hope less and less people. Again, this is going back to my old school mentality when it comes to the car shows. I see a lot more people striving away from the crazy paints, going into rap and going into the rap stuff. And but then even talking with judges and just overhearing, you, you hear the like the, the the tone of them being bored. With what, paint? No, with the wraps. Because one color gets popular. And then 13 people do it. It gets done Look 13, 20 times. You know what I mean? Like Satin caramel. You guys want to do it? Go ahead. There you go. Knock your dick into the 30 dirt. more. <laughs> 30 I don't more. care. I'm getting rid of it soon anyway. But that's my point. That's exactly my point right here, right now. You're getting rid of it. And I love the color. And I've told you a million times, do not get rid of that color. Because it has become like your copyright. I need to keep up with the times. And I'm watching everybody else move forward, and I'm saying, all right, er, this guy got a custom, this guy got a custom, this guy got a custom. I'm going to do something soon. I don't know what. Granted, but it comes back to this. At least paint. I paint my car, and you paint the car the same way, and the cars are still going to be different. Absolutely. Shades. You know what I mean? The different clears. Or if I used you know, House of Color Flake, and you use, you know, another brand's flake. Okay. So we can do the same stuff. And it'll still look totally different. And we'll still look totally different, even if we're like a shade off or two shades off, three shades off. You ready for this? What? With custom printing your vinyls, there's no guarantee that it's going to come out the same every time. If I print the same vinyl out three different times mm -hmm. with the same three different designs, there's no promise. Toner comes into effect, ink comes into effect, the vis like the viscosity of the actual material, mm -hmm. like everything comes into effect. Okay, but when you're getting into that department, how much are you actually spending compared to well, you go to you one go. of these like, you know, mainstream vinyl wraps oh, shops gonna, online or whatever? They're gonna beat the shit out of you. They're and you're gonna take gonna whatever get the they color you want. And ready for this? I know for a fact I mm -hmm. can get a custom vinyl made from my car for less than eighteen hundred. Which I'm assuming that's a good thing. That's a good Amazing, because I know people who have paid $5,000 plus. Okay. Because okay. somebody took advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, being that you can go somebody, somebody and get an $1,800 printout doesn't mean necessarily that it's the same quality as Joey's for the five right. grand. Okay. But the fact of the matter being is, like you said, it's still vinyl. Same thing like the black on the hood. It's mm. a different kind of vinyl. Mm -hmm. And the, with the proper, pro proper installer, none of that will matter. 
True. Okay. No, granted. I, that, that's all understandable. But it comes into, I guess, where all the boredom comes uh, when I talk to these judges. Or when I overhear these judges, better said, that uh, that car has that damn same color, and I just judge that same color and another one down the damn lane of, of freaking show cars and this and that and everything else. So you're there and you're sitting. So you're like, why? It must be annoying. Well, okay, perfect example. Kate. Yes. Kate's a perfect example of this topic right here. Oh, yeah, right no, here. there's three or four cars in her color, yeah. And you can probably, they're all TSXs, and you can probably judge them all lined up by side by side. Exactly. But what I will say, if you go out of your way and get that custom vinyl printed, there's no guarantee that... They'll be semi the same shade as, you know, as yeah. Joe Schmo if, bought if it. If you're buying it from, like, right. let's just say Metro. Right. If you buy it from them today, tomorrow... And a year from now, it's all going to be the same green if you order the same green. Exactly, yeah. But if you go get a custom print, good luck trying to get somebody else to copy you. Right. No, no. Like I said, I totally get that 100%. But it comes back to the same damn thing. Are you going to, at that rate and the money you're spending, aren't you better off custom paint? Absolutely not. Seriously? Because when I get tired of it, I'm ready for this. Let's say you spend your five grand on that paint job. Right. I'm going to do the installing myself. I can buy three different wraps mm -hmm. and rock it three different seasons. Okay, so it comes into... Keeping it fresh. Okay, so it comes into, one, keeping it fresh for you because you, you can't stay committed to a color. Commitment's a bad thing. The only thing I commit to is my, <laughs> my car and my fiancé. <laughs> so pretty much, like I said, the commitment of sitting there and staying with that paint job and, you know, polishing it and buffing it and whatnot, when you can just rip it off, do another one, rock it a year or two, board, rip it, do it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that get boring and tedious? No. I find wrapping very calming. Okay, so you're, you're, it just, you just happen to enjoy it way too much. That's why you can sit there and do it. <laughs> that's pretty much what it comes <laughs> into. Okay, folks, that's pretty much what this comes into. <laughs> Um, I, I really if you're committed, go for it. <laughs> you watched me wrap my fender after we um, cut up the Z. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Was I pissed off doing it? A little bit. I was pissed off when I didn't have enough material at the end, so I had to restart everything. Well, granted, yes. I can assume that would suck. So that's on me. But actually, while wrapping it, I was fairly quiet, if you didn't notice. Hmm. hmm. To a certain degree. Quiet is happy. <laughs> If I'm not bitching and moaning about something and I'm quiet, <laughs> I have to be in some sort of state where I'm at least pleasant and happy. So, okay. Unless I'm red in the face and quiet, in which case, that's run. Different, that's a different thing. That's a different thing completely. So, okay. So, it pretty much it comes into if you're the, you enjoy having a fresh look every other season or whenever pretty much you're bored and you want to spend the money on materials and do it, do it. That's yeah. what it pretty much it comes into. And I can get the same quality sparkle out of my wrap. Than I can with, with my paint job. Absolutely. Okay. I, I can okay. promise that. Okay. What do you think about these cars that do the full dips? Like the whole dip your oh, car stuff. Oh, motherfucker. That's a different story. That comes back to the if done right rule. That we, okay, the one I that we were talking about before in the, previous, in the yeah. previous episode. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess we did talk about it in the previous yeah, uh, episode. Briefly. We touched it on it briefly. If briefly. done right, it can look really great um because that's when it comes into you know paint <sighs> versus wrap versus dip all right hold on stand by because i can understand dips for like certain little accents you know stuff no, you know, i mean cute, cute stuff, and stuff and like little minor things so back to who we were talking about mm -hmm. the, the guy who rattle cans his car in walmart Okay, yes. That's the guy that you don't want handling dip. Like, he shouldn't be able to buy that. They, True. Okay, yeah. It does bring a bad name. They should look at like, him and be like, no. <laughs> Fonzie himself should come out the store and be like, no, man. Stop it. <laughs> the guy has legs for arms. Jesus Christ. They punch the piss out of you. I swear to God, you and the damn examples. Um, but I've seen quite a few people do it right. Um, Real Wilder 5.0 on Instagram. True. Very impressed, actually, because I actually thought that was rap. Do laid it like it was silk. So that is props to him because I really thought that was rap until you actually told me that was actually the whole car was dipped. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what? 
Okay, so no, granted. Granted. You, you, you can't fight it. And I think he's had it in multiple colors, like teal and like pink and stuff. And like every time it's flawless, but he knows what he's doing with it. Okay. We have that one guy on the team. I, I can't even remember the car, but I remember the color. It's like orange, green. It's a color shift that lives down by Amanda's. Oh, Vincent. He's in the team, yes, yes. He that does have his cold. doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't, actually. And he was one of the first ones ever, if I remember right, when I was like, hmm, I wonder if I were to dip something. I was kind of like iffy on it or whatever. When I you were willing what... to do the wheels. Everybody was willing to do yeah, the yeah, wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I wanted to do wheels or whatever for the BMW when I first got the damn car or whatever it was. And he was like, yeah, yeah, listen. You bang. He, I remember he banged his fender. He took, like, McGuire spray, sprayed it and, like, wh wiped it hard as hell. I was like, Jesus, dude, you're going to rip the damn thing off. He goes, nah, man, you can handle this thing like paint job. I can buff it. I can do all that. I was like, Are you, really? Like, yeah. Spray your child in it. He'll be safe <laughs> for life. <laughs> so stupid. But he was one of the first ones to kind of, like, show me. Listen, this is not really if you, like, sneeze on it or fart on it wrong. It's not, like, rip off the fender <laughs> yeah. type no, of deal. No, it's some cool shit. I so. mean, but also with that is something you can rip off and go back. I haven't seen too many metallic ones. I got to say right. that. I haven't seen something super glossy where I get confused to see if it's actually, like, paint. See, that's where the trick is. Because at the well, like I said, you haven't done, you haven't had a chance to go into any shows yet with us. But the ones that have, I have been to in the past, you can sp at least, well, whatever, me maybe at least, just because I, I, I bought, you know, paint jobs or whatever. You can spot what's a dip with the with the famous glossifier or the gloss that oh, they yeah, use. I no. forgot the real proper name on it, so forgive the me. The gloss if, looks if like the they right just name. wax their inside dashboard. So there, it's one of those things. Maybe it's. They didn't lay it right, or I just it haven't seen... It comes back to the applier. It, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's one of those things. I really haven't had a chance to really sit there and, like, meet anyone that's 100% the master of dipping. You haven't met Wilder yet. He was supposed For... to come in the summer. He never showed up. <laughs> Damn, calling you out, bro. Calling you out completely. <laughs> but, but it's one of those things. I haven't really met anyone to really... No, 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 no. This is the way it's done. And show me a finished product that I can be like, okay, all right, I have to shut up and, you know... If you've seen it in person, I give kudos to where to I have to give kudos it. to. It's one of those things. Because I remember with the whole paints and everything else, I met an old man. This was freaking, oh, my God. I must have had the team, what, three years in, four years in when I started with the team, put it that way. And I met an old man. He was already, Jesus Christ, like in his 80s. He was a retired painter. Okay. But he was still painting on the side. Like a little weekend hustle type of deal. I love that. And he made his garage into an actual oven, like fully 100% to spec. Like, even if you were to come in there and be like, this is illegal, you'd be like, Sh shit. Filters clean everywhere, it is. like clean as hell. Like, the dude knew his shit. Okay. Okay. And when I was kind of iffy, I was like, damn, do I repaint the car? But, uh, you know, when, you're in, when I'm in that mentality, I'm like, all right, I have to pick the right shop that at least has decent, good reviews. I understand what's involved, so I kind of have an idea what the price is, but I can at least wiggle room it to at least make it somewhat cheaper. You know, it's it's one of those bombardments in your head. <sighs> All right. Just go with no, it. No, no, no. Go, go, go with I'm, it. Continue. The old man won me over with candy paint because he painted a 57 Chevy Bel Air fully candy, and he did it there in that garage. Okay. And when it was candy red, candy apple red. I'm never going to forget that. It looked, the blood, the, it was like a blood red. And on top of that, heavy, heavy flake. Very old school. But that's where I got it from. He was like, this is how you paint. And if you want candy, this is how it's supposed to come out. So you're there sitting like, Jesus Christ, you can see the reflection of the guy's like nostril hair on the freaking fender of you the car. You can get that wrap too. Yeah. Stop that You think shit. I'm bullshitting Don't you. stop lying There is chrome right now. wrap. I know there's chrome wrap. I'm tired of seeing damn chrome wrap. I'm talking about candy, pa candy painted with heavy flake ah. and that much clear that it's red and the lights are shining on it and you can still see nostril hair. I think it can be made. If somebody attempted to make it, I think they could. It'd just be a little bit more expensive than your regular average wrap. But then it comes back to the same thing we were talking about before. The, at, at that point, okay, okay, congratulations. You, you want to get the custom thing. What do you, give me a ballpark of what you think it would honestly cost. To do my car? No, no. Give, uh, give me like a, a full size, because your car's small, so that thing don't even count. All right. Well, let's <laughs> let's talk about the Audi then. Okay, that's a perfect example. Because it's a larger car. Yeah, it's, a, it's a full size. Yeah. Yep. I think I can do the Audi with maybe like eighty feet. 
and smile and have maybe okay, 15 Okay, so you're looking at 80 over. feet by 5 feet wide, right? Uh, your typical roll long. is about 600 bucks. Okay, so if you want to get a custom one that you're telling me about with the heavy, I me guess, personally, I clear probably, film on it to make it really as glossy as physically I'd possible. I probably wind up spending, me personally, mm -hmm. and this is like friends and family discounts and so on and so forth. No, no, forget family, but not that many people have friends and family discounts. Well, they need that's to the make point. more friends. So, wow, really? That's, that's, your, that's your point. Be friendly, dude, smile. That's your point to, to, smile, to all the listeners. shake hands, kiss You babies. need to make more friends. <laughs> Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Join the team. We have a bunch <laughs> of friends on this team. Come on. Even as we, when get, you as we really... get flooded just because they want fucking... Cheap Think about props it. And everything else. Even when you don't like somebody on the team, you kind of just ask about them just to make sure they're still doing well. Well, I mean, I kind of like everyone. So no, it's all things. love on the team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, no matter but what, I get you. it's going to be love. It's 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 one of those things in general and in, in, just in life. But now you're getting Oprah Winfrey on me. Jesus Get back to the damn car. Christ. <laughs> I think I could wind up spending maybe fourteen hundred on a custom wrap for the app. And the, the and. Does that include the family and friends discount, or is that what you think in reality it would cost somebody right to make out, it. you know, come walking through the door? Oh, no. Somebody walking through the door, they're going to get hit at, at least two, five, three. Okay. So you're at, let's say, for example, you get that's lucky at 2500 Yes, that's without installation. Now, you go to one of these shops, okay? You have to forget that you know what you're doing. You have to think of it in the terms of, the All Joe right. Schmoll that is getting into the car world or getting into the car hobby either has a tight budget. Okay, no, 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 five, I Five, six it. grand, seven grand maybe, or sometimes a little bit less, but regardless of the fact, a budget to work with. You're already in 25. Yep. They and you're, you're just holding on to the world because... No, the what they would do, the smart, actual person would uh -huh. find that middleman who doesn't necessarily own a shop yet, Mm -hmm. but does wrap on the side and has a regular nine to five job, same way the painting, the, the okay. little old man is. Okay. And let me tell you, there's, there's a, quite a few of them. No, I know. We know, we know a whole mess. It's, it's just one of those things. There's so many years in the game that you, you, you meet them and you're like, forget the shop. I know this guy. He does the same damn work. Mm -hmm. So I get that. I get that hundred percent. And when they decide, but to I, 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 I'm putting myself in the mind of the one that doesn't know wants to get into the hobby. That's the way I always think about it. But let's be honest. If you're getting into the hobby, you're not going to start with a wrap. I mean, I would hope not. I would hope you get wheels first and at least a drop or whatever. <laughs> no, I, no. realistically <laughs> speaking, it would take the average Joe anywhere from like on a, on a custom, fully custom wrap and it's got the sparkles mm -hmm. in it and he's got like a number on the side and some sponsor decals and right. I love you, mom, whatever. What the a Fully okay. custom wrap. <laughs> That was printed out mm -hmm. and installed. I can see it going anywhere from three to four, maybe, and that's pushing it. I mean, that's pushing it. So at most is what you'll probably be in like four grand between getting the custom thing done and then the getting installer putting to install it on. It. Yeah, and that's a that's a one off that nobody will have unless they go out there and try to make the same. So we're shit at the four grand made. mark. I think in your head. Yep. A little wiggle room, a little bit more, a little bit less, but that's where you think. Yeah. Okay. That to me is worth paint. Is worth paint. Ready for this? When the kid says, you know what? I'm getting ready to sell this. He doesn't have to advertise. He can he can go to car gurus and say, Here you go, take this white car. Also, but I have come across people that have sold their custom cars and have gotten more of what the value is because it's custom paint. Unless you're an award winner and you put your shit on Craigslist, it is not selling for more because it's an award winner. To begin with, you wouldn't sell your car on Craigslist. <laughs> what, you, you, get, you see what I'm getting at, though, no, right? No, no. I get you 100%. Because you, you just said the average Joe, and the average Joe is going to sell his shit on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. I, at least Facebook Marketplace is a lot classier. <laughs> I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It's a low, I mean, you know what I mean? You won't get shot. You at least know. You hope. You at, least, you at least know who's going to mug you. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. But, um... I don't know, man. I still go to paint. It's just—it's so hard. It's Absolutely. so hard for me to sit there and get a project car. Me. Well, let me re, let me retract that. Let me retract that. I'm to a point that I have done the crazy, crazy, and I have semi settled down okay. to a certain degree in the, in the mods. Like you don't see me really candying out every single car that I got. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Ready for this? Even uh, better. Go. Go. Today's climate. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to DMV? Fuck no. 
if you repaint your car, are you going to have to go to DMV? You want me to break one to you? No, no. It's, you it's want me to break one to it's you? It's a yes or no, no question. No, no, no. I'm going to make you feel stupid right now. If I pull you over and I'm a cop and your car says purple and it's red, I'm going to fucking hit you with a ticket. That's why I have always customized my cars on the shaded that they are. Look at blue. I got two different shades of fucking blue on that truck. Okay, so that you found And my loophole. registration is still blue. But why? Because my truck was blue. <laughs> because paint, you can't do that with wrap. You open up that door jam. If the, if the wrapper yeah, doesn't Yeah, if you're going to find that jam, one pain in the ass cop is like, why is this car one color in the Look registration Look at me in Edgewater. Season. Even perfect. So a, a separate time I get pulled over in Edgewater, mm-hmm. my Z is gray. It's that gunmetal gray. Mm-hmm. The guy goes, why is this gold? I'm like, it's a wrap. Sir, it's caramel sand. Get right. Yeah, right. Imagine that. You'd have baton me to death. Um, I said. Uh, caramel satin, please. It's actually a wrap. He goes, yeah, open up your door. Now I'm looking at him like, you're really going to test me on this. He, Absolutely. Open the fucking door. Now, like, he's screaming at me. He, I am going to open the door. <laughs> so I open up the door. He looks at it. He goes, all right, I guess you get away with this. I'm like, all right, now give Back me a ticket. Back of his mind, the- he's like, it's all right, I already got you for like five more tickets. Yeah, the big wing one, sticker on the one front. One less makes sh- big shit to me. This, that, the third. <laughs> Again, thank you, Edgewater. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I laugh when you get pulled over. This is because, oh, by the way, I listened to that episode. Here's a ticket. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to laugh my ass off at you, by the way. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> Got to be awful. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I still say paint. I still say paint. I don't know. I would love to have everybody else. What's their opinion? I would like, love what for do, them to weigh in on this. Yeah, you guys weigh in on it, on, the, on what you guys think is, I guess, not better, well, but what do you think will work better for you? Paint? I, I'm going to give you a, a good wrap. One. My wrap. Uh, I, use, I use the Meguiar's wax on it. The quick okay. wax. Yes. It makes you look like brand new out of the fucking box wrap. Okay. okay. Well, Meguiar's does have that new line now. now that's for... Um, Fully wrapped cars and whatnot, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, let, let's be honest. Meguiar's has yeah, fucking true, everything man. under the sun. <laughs> so, oh, you need a toenail clipper. I got it. Would you like the index toenail or the baby toenail? They got it everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's the go-to brand for us. Yeah, it's true. It is true. Um, so you, you, it's much more maintainable than paint. Granted, yes. I do give you that. I do give you that. Like I said, when it comes down to will I fully wrap a whole car, I'm very iffy on it. I swear to God. I'm very 50-50 on it. Now, if you tell me a roof, yes, 100%. Okay, 85. Perfect example. Okay. That was a perfect example. I have a Project 85 that I was, I, I was working on. Well, I'm still kind of working on it. You know how it is. An 85 Eldorado. We were going to fully wrap that car. And we couldn't find vinyl big enough. But the issue came about is that we couldn't find vinyl that was actually wide enough for the damn car. And I refuse to two-piece that car because it's an absolute beauty. If it's one of those things person. the body lines don't really even let you. to Because no. if, at least if I had, I guess, a more chrome. Oh, well, you like should have got hood. a Blitz, you cheap bastard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, me not, let me find another one. Oh, but you're ready to buy a Tesla. I mean, I, I mean, if Elon hooks me up with one, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Hey, buddy. <laughs> he should make a Baritz Tesla. That'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool, actually. But the bylines of the car alone don't really help to, like, cut vinyl up in two pieces and, and kind of put it together. It's one no, it things. doesn't do the car justice. That's why I felt guilty doing that. Yeah, but it's one of those things that you can... You can, if you had at least the bylines to help hide or like door trims or not, because it, it's more exposed sheet metal on that damn car than anything else. And it's smooth as fuck, which is why we ended up fucking actually just painting the damn thing. It, which was an awesome process, by the way. Also an insane, annoying process, by the way. Um, but if you, if you walk into your house and there's a shit on the rug, you're looking at your cats, they're all going to like, kind of like look away from you because they're not going to want to acknowledge it. There was no way I was two-piecing that, that roof, that hood. Mm. No way. No, I know. I'm not going to raise my hand and put my name on that. No, Absolutely I know. Not. I, I know you by now that you weren't going weren't gonna to actually end up doing that. But it comes back to the same thing. We were close to it because I was actually really open to doing it. Had you found the material to I probably it? would have, to be honest. I probably, and I probably would have. And more because, you know, my dad was like, meh, why not? <laughs> why not? I love your dad. Shout out to <laughs> Sonic's dad. Shout out to dad. <laughs> Uh, he's a very stoic man, and he smiles sometimes. If you can make him smile, he likes you. <laughs> That's pretty much the way he goes. But it's just become a, such a fucking nightmare where all these brands, oh, can you make it wider? 
yeah, maybe, sort of, it's going to have to be custom. And then, like, you're already, instead of spending the four, five, six hundred dollars, you know, I'm already hitting the eight, nine, nine hundred mark. I was like, get the, got it, I'll just paint the damn thing. And, you know, I'll, that's a whole different other ball game. Ball game completed the whole painting that car. That was, that was fun in, in itself. I was able to do it in a day, but. The vinyl roof. The vinyl roof was also a nightmare, but. That's one thing I think that what? they should look into as far as wrap goes. What do you mean, like the actual like synthetic vinyls and for like the roofs and stuff yep. like that? Yep, yep. Think about how much easier that would have done been to do with a stretchable vinyl wrap that had that texture of that leather. That would Somebody be cool, needs would to make you, that. Would you do a whole car in that? That leather? Yeah. No, really? but you ready for this? Out? I would oh. do end caps like Cadillacs. Nobody, nobody does vinyl. <laughs> And, and caps, boo. No, not that, that's caps. not a no, thing. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? That like that roof. You part mean where... the the half roofs? Yes. On the on the Cadillac. I would yes. throw that on okay. an ATS all day long. <sighs> that's sexy, on a Cadillac. Know. Absolutely. The new Lincolns. Absolutely. It has to go with the body lines, I think. But it has to be one of those cars that had it prior earlier years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep that yeah, classy that. look. It is, it is an extra touch. I it can is, see it right it, now in my head. It is an extra touch. Um, but that in itself is a different ballgame because even you were like freaking the hell out half of it, helping me so do the vinyl on it. I was so petrified because you have to muzzle fuck this thing on. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, I mean, you got to arm wrestle it, and it's, it, 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 it's got guns, dude. No, I know it has guns, but it's one of those things. If you, coming from you that you vinyl wrap, the basics are there. Oh, yeah, no, after we ironed it out and steamed it. and You just have to sit there and like smack the shit out of it to get the, some of the wrinkles. You know, some of the wrinkles are or whatever, and kind of like yank it and pull it back down again. And what, <laughs> no, it's like. <sighs> it was fun. It was a fun day. Yeah. It was fun, and we were both tired. <laughs> you, you've watched Family Guy before, right? Yes. I know this is going to sound awful, and we're probably going to get shit for it. Oh, Greased God. up deaf guy. Oh, you know geez. that one episode where everybody tries to catch him? Uh huh. I'd compare putting on the roof to that. Wow. It, wow. it was hard. <laughs> wow. And I didn't think we were going to do it. But then your father started taking control. And he's like, no, you have to pull that side. Well, I'm pulling this side. I'm like, well, that's a vinyl trick. There goes a triangle. We pull on this. He goes, C flat. I'm like, okay, we got it. We got it. This old man's on to something, man. I mean, we did it in pretty good timing anyway. It yeah, was like knocked out two hours or something like that? Yeah, two, well. Two and a half, three hours? With the cutting, it was probably all day. Right, yeah. But at least I get it ironed out and slapped on. Fitting and, the clips and on. And fitting everything back on. How much did they quote you for that? But fucking annoying as hell. That's the main reason why I did it to begin with. I got quoted in three different shops. I'm going to bother saying their names because for what? One shop, uh, what was it? It was like $800. And we can't guarantee that we're going to break your clips. So you need to buy new clips. I go, yeah, because I can go to a car like dealership right now and be like, hey, do you guys have clips for an 85? Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go ahead. I'll wait. Mm. Another shop. Yeah, the best I can do is 500. Jesus Christ. Same deal. I'm do you have extra clips? No, I don't have extra clips. Oh, no, I don't. I'm not sure I'm breaking. I mean, if you know what you're doing and you take your time doing any. it. No, we didn't break anything. And we're young. You would think we're the ones that. That was our click, first time doing it. And kind of snap one in half and just have my dad look at us and, <laughs> as we melt. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it turned into but bubbles. It was, you know, it was one of those things that we didn't break anything. You know, so I'm like thinking back at that at retrospect, ready for this? Hmm. Again, it's vinyl. You pay the person because you think that you can't do it yourself. Yes, a hundred percent. And technically for that day we were vinyl installers. Different yeah, kind of vinyl, to certain, but to a certain degree, a different type of vinyl, but yeah. And you save that money, but guess what? You're the average car guy. So am I. Yeah, because I mean to me, the average car guy gets annoyed at seeing the outrageous prices. So what I understand you just proved yourself wrong. In what? You said the average car guy wouldn't wrap their own car. Guess what? We did it. We're the average car guy. You're Dude, right. You're right and you're wrong. That person would save the money on the wrap and try you're to wrap right. it themselves. You're right and you're wrong. Would it come out perfect? Both. Absolutely not. But you have the, I, know, I, know, I know plenty of people, actually, that have wrapped their own cars without knowing a simple nothing of vinyl wrapping. And it has come out legit. And I have other, I've seen other ones that have same deal, never done it. Just less talented. And you're like, what? Would you, oh, you're, you're signing your name on this, huh? All right. <laughs> like, you really want to do that? You just want to say, like, nah, I just paid a guy 20 bucks. He did it yeah. for me like an hour. Um, so, it, you know, you get a little bit of both. You get a little bit of both. To me, 
the well, better said, it's 2021. What I think of the average car guy now is just, you know, wheels and in a wrap. That's very Hudson County of you. At, prove, prove me, prove me wrong. Your average car guy. Around us, around us. Granted, the only cool thing about us and li living where we live at, we got flavor and variety. Yes, I have to admit that. Is it to some of our liking? God, no. But at the end of the day, you like it's cool because I actually get to see some type of modified car in a span of four blocks. I can count at least 10. Down the block from you, the pink S14 with the, um, the yes, tree on the side exactly. of it. Exactly. There's a drifter that parks up the block from my house. We still haven't picked him up. By the way, if you're that guy and... Like, the car's insanely clean. I think he knows the just, team anyway. I hope I he applies. I, so, I, I think he knows us. Or he's seen one of us or met me or, I don't know, something like that. How but about the, the red cool GTR? Which one? The red GTR. Oh, the R32, I believe it is. Yeah. The, the red one with the white wheels. Yes. That's another one. The taste is there. There's flavor in our area. So, that's the only cool thing that at the end of the day, I'm like, all right, I mean, you know what? It's not boring. You don't get to see the same stock car parked on the blocks. Like, on a span from, like, your house to my house, perfect example. There's you'll a, at least count 10 cars. Oh, guaranteed. Easily. That's not even Three including of them is the, Alfredo's. <laughs> <laughs> Alfredo's another guy we no, have on the team. Another knucklehead in our team. Who has more than a handful of cars. Jesus Christ. And can barely see over the dash. Yeah, he's a, he's a cute little midget. But anyway. <laughs> Angry little midget. That's discrimination. He's going to kick your he's ass. He's a cute small person. <laughs> Alfredo, if you're listening, we love you too. But end of the day, that's the only, like I said, it comes back to it, it's a cool thing and a bad thing. Because back then, when I was first starting, 20 something odd years ago in this car scene, unless you went crazy paint, you got the custom body kits. You wasn't shit. You weren't shit. And then from there, it's, it's like the basics were wheels, a drop, or a lift. You know, and then you had to change your bumpers around. Whether if you were lifted, you know, you go with the heavy steel bumpers. If you were slammed, then you know you would do like the, the the insane looking body kits that are made out of insanely poor fiberglass. That if you fart wrong, it would crack. You spend more money literally fixing the bumper and slapping it on than it was for you to buy the whole kit twice. Okay. This was this bro. This is before when, FPR. Yes, this was before uh, Duraflex. Thank God for those guys. Okay, so I'm talking, I'm talking, yeah, 15, 20 years back. Okay, when I first started, I was like, I was 16, 17 years old. And I'm like, I'm literally 37 now. So, literally. Wow, you just told everybody your age. It's fine, I don't look it. <laughs> They're involved. I got the good jeans. I got, hand you I got a the, cane. I got, the, shut up. Call you pops. Keep it up. <laughs> but yeah, man, no, I, I get it. And since then, it's evolved a whole bunch. My car, yeah, there's some fiberglass pieces on it, but guess what? You no. smack it and it'll hold up. But yeah, you don't have to deal with the stuff everyone else used to deal with, which is the cool thing on how everything has progressed. I have to admit that. So, but as much as stuff has progressed, the car scene has done a reverse, in my eyes anyway. Again, I'm looking at it through the goggles of growing up and seeing cars with marble floors. And no, not vinyl, vinyl wrapped. I'm talking about House, marble. Like yes, on countertops. It, yes, yes, marble on the floor. Yeah, but don't ready for this. Uh, here's where I get into a big thing. No, no, no. But That's get, a trailer queen. That I don't even want to hear We're going to get into that now. We'll get, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. By the end of the day, that's the, that's the shit. Like, if you were, like, starting up, like, yeah, this, this is a cool hobby. I want to get into this. You saw that. You're like, what the fuck? Like, how the hell will I ever get to that level? Welcome to being me. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Literally, my first Hot and Poor Nights show was in Sea Caucus. When Sea Caucus used to own Hot and Poor Nights and do the shows there. Two, three shows a year. They would do the big one inside the convention center of Sea Caucus. And like an outdoor one later on in summer. So they will take over the old parking lots. Or the I believe there's a parking deck right next okay. to the convention center. Is, give you a good is. idea. Very uh, Tokyo the parking Drift deck field. is still there. Yeah. They would take over that. 
So it'll be hot and poor nights indoors and hot and poor nights outdoors. That's nice. Okay. They should bring that back. And the parking lot across the street from C- – well, if you guys from C- I guess you know where the Walmart is and all that to give you guys a good idea of what I'm talking about, where all the buses and the trucks park. Expo Center. And the Expo Center right across the street? Yeah. The newbies that will start will all get sent there. Oh, that's fucked up. So that was like pre-K kindergarten. Necesito fucked up. I'll never forget my first hot and poor nights. They stuck you there? They stuck me there. I had a 97 blazer for the love of God. It was green. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, but I didn't know my ass from my elbow. It was one of those things. But that's the show that taught me. I was like, oh, no, if I want to get into this hobby, <laughs> I got to step it up. Balls to the walls. I got to freaking go. I got to think I'm really outside the box with this one. But I got parked next to a Toyota 4Runner. Yeah, it was a trailer queen. I never understood that. You know, I was a newbie, so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Wow, he has his own trailer. But when that thing rolled out, like, late, the etching done by hand on the glass. Fuck you. Somebody spent money for that? On all the chrome. And, like, tribal. Because that car was done in a very, like, West Coast style vibe, to give you an idea. Oh, I love that. It had bags. It was on 22s. I'll never forget it. It, w- it had chrome 22s on it. It had everything shaved. The whole roof was a rag top, motorized. That sounds good. TVs in every single crevice. Your nuts had a TV to watch. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just to give you a My good idea. My kids are watching TV before they're born. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Just to give you a good idea. And then from there, you're like, is that, is that real marble? And the guy was like, yeah, yeah, touch it. There, you hear the, you like, you hear the dents of the free. I was like, how the hell did you get marble? He goes, why not? Those were his words to me. Why not? That always sat with me ever since. Damn, now I got to start questioning my life. Why not? And to, I think to this day, if I'm not mistaken, that guy still even has that truck. Does he show it? No, he retired it. After a while, it, you know, he passed the fine line to me anyway. There's, a certain, there's just like a certain line once you get to a build that if you know you cross it, you can never come back from it. Oh, it's when you max out your build. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, to me, personally. Buzzy with the 350Z. Yes, yes. He maxed that fucking thing out. But he maxed that out like seven times. He got bored and changed up the colors on it like five million times. He doesn't own that anymore. No, I believe he sold it. He actually did sell that, that Z, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's one of the, like, but this goes back to that story I told you about Muzzy. This, this guy is an insane builder. He came out of nowhere in the scene with a, with a veil side. He, he was one, I believe he was one of the first ones in the United States with the veil side body kit. And like I told you, back then, you were dumping like six grand if you wanted that, or seven if I wasn't mistaken. And back you were th- waiting. That money back then is like 20 grand now. Pretty much, yeah. It's like saying now, going to Panda and be like, give, make me a one off. Yeah. Fully rocket bunny, everything. But just one. That's like the same thing right this. Um, which the, is even the rocket bunnies is even veil sites though. Um, for the GTRs. Uh huh. Because I'm you're just gonna curious. Leave Tesco at the desk. What are you looking up? I'm literally looking to see if veil site is still around. Veil site is still a thing. Yes. You think so? Absolutely. So is Vertex. Oh yeah, they are still around. Good stuff. All right. It's just it's, those you know, are those ninety brands so who haven't because... reinvented themselves on another car. Right okay. now, rocket bunnies killing it. Right, yeah, it's Pandam, it's Pan Rocket Am, Bunny, yes. it's Liberty Walk. Those yeah, are the, those, those guys are the, that are the, the, name the names brands out that there. you know of, like automatically. You think of Liberty ready Walk. Ready for oh, this? Snap, hell yeah! I'm waiting for one day for Vail side to say, you know what? Fuck these guys. I'm gonna reinvent something, and I'm gonna do it better. Okay. Just to get back out there in the front. Perfect example of Bob Vail side, and how they kind of don't have to because they were the first ones. So it's one of those things. They're the daddies. I mean, to me, I, I think they they are the daddies of. You gotta reinvent yourself. Granted, yes, of course you always have to reinvent yourself. I, I believe that 100%. I'm strongly for that. But they were the ones that pulled off the famous Tokyo RX-7. Drift. Oh, yeah, that one too. That literally, you take our RX-7 and you make it look like a goddamn yeah, yeah. Ferrari, Lamborghini. You make it look like something so freaking exotic, you wouldn't even think you're driving a freaking Mazda RX-7. You're right. Hans, that, that was That Tokyo was his Drift. car in the movie, Han. yes, our famous orange and black one. That one. But that whole kit was like twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. I think it was actually fifteen. And that's not even including like the six months you had to wait, or I think more than that to even get it. And then the labor overseas. on it, and so on and so forth. Yeah, no. 
take a second you know mortgage. I mean? Headlights swapped, taillights swapped. The the if I'm not mistaken, the blinkers got swapped. The side mirrors, like you have so many little extra little pieces that before you know it, you're in like twenty grand. With side note: Would you rather have that or a Tesla? <clears throat> Good one. What happened? You like Teslas. I mean, if Elon's going to hook me up, then yes. But aside from <laughs> I'm telling you, he's going to listen no, to No, honestly, in that sense, I would take the, the RX-7. Absolutely, because you know there's love behind it. The, RX-7? You know that there's an idea that somebody had to put together, and there was a journey behind it and a story yeah, behind it. No, I get it. it, 100%. But I also would literally only take that thing out for shows. Like, I would not go to Walmart and do errands. I, like, I want it. I want it. I, I would. I know you would. You'll drive your car in the winter. I'm the one stopping you to drive your damn car uh, in the winter because I, if not, you'll, be, you'll probably whack that thing 30 times by now. I, I know you by now. Listen, I have already driven it in the winter several times. Ask Junior. He'll tell you I blow thermostats <laughs> like nobody's business. <laughs> but I told you, once you get to the first show, all that changes. All that changes. Uh, by the way, shout out to JRM Performance. Um, whenever I don't have the balls to break some knuckles during the cold weather outside, I give it to them and they fix it. Poor guy. No, he, he's made out of gold, dude. He's great. <laughs> I've heard good things about him. <laughs> but, I mean, thinking back about it, no, yeah, I definitely would take the RX-7. Absolutely. You, like, you, you know, can't argue that saying. because it's something with a storyline behind it. Yeah, there's heritage. Heritage, that's the word there's I'm There's a heritage for. behind it. But it goes back to seeing the build that if, you know, if you're looking at it, you're like, damn, this car's been through a lot. You okay. can tell. Yeah. Like I said, we were talking about this briefly a little bit in the last episode. Just, you know, we were touching a little bit about everything. It tells you a story. But the car tells you a story. You know, going back, you know, seeing a Tesla on three-piece wheels and bagged into on the ground doesn't really it says, tell you a story. I have monies. I mean, you know, empower to you. You know, congrats if you got it like that. Yeah. I would big take dick the, energy. Big, yeah, for real. <laughs> but I would, I, if you had put it like that, in that perspective, whether a Tesla or I'm trying to think off right off the bat, you know, an old school Celica. Yeah. Just yeah. done right. A GT. You know, an old school Celica GT just done right. All JDM dial, you know, right hand drive, slam to the ground. I would, I would like lean and look at that and be like, take pictures of that and be like, oh, that's cool too. And take a picture of the Tesla and be like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but go, kind of go back to the, because but, we're car guys who want to hear that sound, who want to but it envision back. ourselves but inside it goes back that to car, that, which is the main premise of my entire main question of, of the beginning of this lovely little episode. Do you ever see the Teslas ever becoming a thing into the car world? Absolutely, but there will be a subculture. A subculture, right? Kind of like the exotic guys, the guys pulling up with yep. their Lambos. The cross between that, not getting too far from that, in my personal opinion, is the GTR owners. They have kind of paved the way but they're best for of us worlds. to be parked next to the exotics, they're which would have never worlds. happened you, you, before. No, absolutely not. At least in, my, in what I see anyway. I could be wrong a million times, but at least from what I've seen, the GTRs have kind of opened up that door to be parked next to an exotic. To be parked next to the exotics and kind of hold our own. Like, not looked down on or, like, frowned upon because well, I have a Lamborghini and you same have Same thing with the Hellcats. Pacific. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. But it's the same thing with the Hellcats. Ridiculous numbers. You get up there, now you're playing with these guys. You're True. killing them on the highway. True. No and questions asked. And the price asked. differences are, you know, night Hundreds of thousands yeah, of night dollars day. difference. They're slowly catching up to the exotics is pretty much... The premise of that. Dodge? Uh, that within itself. You can't compare a Dodge to a Lamborghini. But when you get a Hellcat next to, I don't know, an SVT. Okay. You know on the track it's going to be close. You know if they look, stand yeah. next to each other, you can be like, yeah, one looks pretty. But I still like the Dodge if you're a car guy. You want to hear that roar. You don't want to hear that rapid fluttering. You want to hear that roar. You want yeah, but the you're whole gonna car have, to You're going to have the opposite of the people that like hearing the that. fluttering and not hearing the rumble. Ready for this? I'm gonna give you a good example. Mm -hmm. That Z, okay. That um, VQ35D, E. That's actually engineered, I think, or uh, better said, is a French motor, Renault Sport. Okay. Okay. Had a hand in that. Mm -hmm. You ever notice when I rev it how it's quick? Wapa! Wapa! Yeah, they're quick. They're they're just quick revs. Yeah, that's. It's a European motor. Okay, the, granted. These Italian car makers, mm -hmm. Ferrari, Lamborghini, 
European car makers. Those quick revs, that's something that... That's their taste. That's, that's, that's that. like their little bit of their recipe in there. A little bit of, a little bit of a sasson, as I yeah, always that's, like to say. That's their uh, <laughs> crepes and um, croissants. <laughs> okay, so pretty much your premise is that it, while it won't take over... It'll be a subculture. It'll just be a small little subculture. It has to be. Yeah, but my whole premise is with the whole everybody has to go green and the whole crap and you think we're gonna be like Brazil and no, then there's drop no way down in hell that's ever gonna happen. Such? That's even besides the point because just there's no physical way anybody you know is gonna ever be like you have to drive an electric car and that's it. We're taking your toys away type of thing. That's never gonna happen. That's Land never of the free. And home ever, of the brave. Never ever gonna happen. But slowly, I have been seeing more of these Teslas, and, and not even the Teslas, but more of the other brands actually are popping out with their little electric cars. Well, look, Ford did it. Okay, fine. Mm, uh, with the Mustang. Yeah. Do you even consider that thing a Mustang? It's got the audio. It's got a little bit of the body. Like, guys, another, like, little quick poll. Do you guys think of that one, the Mach-E? The Mach-E. There we go, there we go, the Mustang Mach-E. Is that even considered a Mustang to you guys? I want Please, to like, I, I we'll pull up the that. polls later on C4 Lifestyle Media on the IG page. So, you know, just so you guys to go ham and, and literally, like, go nuts with there. What do you guys think about that one? I would love to know one? that. Because that's a curious one. That in itself is a, is a topic in itself. It's a lot like all the Mustang guys out there. Now, ready for this? Do you think people are going to wide body that, bag that, and slam that? There's always going to be that one or two. Yeah, They're going to be thinking the same way. We're catching <laughs> Nobody's people. done it. Why not? We're catching people do it with Teslas. Like, not for anything back to the other, the, the Wilder that I mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Bagged, slammed, yeah, wide have, body. If, the, if people do it to Mustangs, so oh, they're no, going to eventually do it to this. They have no, 100%, to. 100%. But you, you can, ex- I don't know, the bo- you know what it is? The body lines. Like, you're putting Wilder in my head, so I already have, I already know what the Mustang looks like. And then you're telling me the Mach-E. I also know what that damn thing looks like. And the Mach-E looks like an egg on wheels. I hope Ford comes after you for saying that. I mean, that. it's a pretty egg on wheels. It's a pretty egg. Nah, nah, I see you backpedaling hard. That's <laughs> no, all right. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty egg on wheels. Is it cool? Yeah, 100%. Mm. Is it a Mustang? Mm, a pony? <laughs> a pony? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so used to, like, you tell me Mustang. Mustang. Balls. A Roush. boss. Saline. Uh, Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. Don't, you tell me Mustang. Those are the ones listing down my head. A 5.0. Mach and then 1. I'm thinking about a Mach 1. I'm thinking about a Fox body. Those are the, like, you We're tell me Mustang. The last thing in my damn mind. Oh, Maggi. <laughs> Bro, it's just not happening. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it in perspective for you. <laughs> when uh, that guy does the Gymkhana with the Maggi, then you'll think of it with something with balls. Granted, yes. But it comes back to... And you know what's going to happen. They're going to slap a yeah, monster yeah, no, sticker on it, and this motherfucker's going to send it. Send the hell, he's going to jump off a bridge. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you look you know at it what? different. Will it make it look cool? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, it will make it look cool. You do that with a Toyota uh, Will it still change Fiesta? my mind and be like, oh my God, I need to get me one of these? No. Eh, no. Maybe Def- for me. Uh, really? Yeah, you would get a Mach-E? Yeah. I, I, I'm ready for Wow. Wow, I, you're going to crack on Elon's free Tesla and you're going to go for a He's Mach-E. not going to give me a free Tesla. <laughs> I mean, not anymore anyway. <laughs> <sighs> what I'm saying is because it's a Mustang, because it's a cool car, I could see it being something because it comes from Ford. There's heritage behind that. True. Okay. 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 So you're looking at more of like the brand in how many years? The of longevity of the, the situation. The longevity of the, you think like Tesla might like a few years from now be like, Poof, no, because Elon's way too smart and educated to let that happen. And way too much money. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's just face it. Way too much more money. money than God. <laughs> but to be honest, it it won't fade away. I mean, it'll still be there. Mm-hmm. Like a Lotus, you you see them every now and again. True. Okay. Okay. I get. Okay. I get. I get where you're going with that. I get where you're going with that. Okay. I mean, if we continue this whole green thing, I can see more and more Teslas. Yeah, but then you'll still have the people who want to hear their cars, who want that rumble, who want to get the gas, who want to. Which came back to my the same premise. Do you ever? That's why I even asked you. Do you ever see the electric car game picking up? Yeah, but it's going to be a subculture. So you definitely think 100% will become a subculture. Absolutely. Just like the exotics and just like everything else. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, they'll, I mean, give, they'll give you an award, best electric car in class. 
that's so weird. Like, I can't even picture that yet, to be honest. It's weird. It's honest to God, it's weird. Because I, you know, it is, it'll probably change my mindset. Like, if we roll into a Hundred Poor Nights or Tuna Revolution or whatever it is, and I see the first award or the first category for, you know. You guys see that crystal plaque with that thing etched in it? Yeah, yeah. Like, Start electric scratching car. Head, like, fuck, this is a be thing. Be like, holy hell. That, that's when I guess it'll settle into my head. It'll be like, holy shit, this is really a thing. This is really happening. Because, like I said, then going back years ago with my first few shows, and then with the, when I started with the team and we started going to shows, there was no stands. There was no best stands or best wheels. I love that, by the way. I mean, granted, that's cool now, and it's picked up now within, I think it was, it's been like, what, four or five years, six years of that movement of, you know, stands and still wheels and th best three-piece wheels and, you know, and all that. I'm going to call bullshit on something, though. What? There's still some shows that aren't doing best Nissan in class, best Z in class. They're not doing it because it's cheaper on the trophies and such. I'm not going to mention those shows. Oh, my God. that's a We can <laughs> run into that. We can literally run four Circles hours on that it. topic alone. But I'm not going to drag it out. I'm not going to rant about <laughs> it. But we can hold that one for another episode, honest to God, because but even I can. That's just, why. Jesus Christ. That's what makes me doubt that there might not be that. Because okay. Okay, depending granted. on the show, whether they're cheap or not, or whether they don't think it's feasible or Somebody's going to show up with two Teslas. Now, do you give, really give somebody a trophy now? I've seen it happen. Or do you hold not on Not really to it? in, granted, not for electric cars, but the whole, you know, they have one category. Like, uh, what was one back in the day that I can remember? <sighs> best trunk setup. No, no. Best trunk setup was always big because that was generalized for everyone at the show. Okay. So if you had a cool trunk setup, you kind of beat everybody else in that tent, in, in that aspect, in that category. Um, I'm just trying to remember off the bat when Hyundai first came out with the Tiburon. Okay. Okay, That's, way back. You're reaching back I'm there. reaching back. You're showing your age. But when they first came out with that car, there was nothing out for that car. So this kid doesn't get a trophy at the end of the day. What? Like three Tiburons showed up one day at a show that we were in. And they had best Hyundai in okay. class. Okay, no, all right, that's that's cool. Yeah, or that's Brent, cool. You know what I mean? Uh, well, not JDM. What um, what's the other one? EDM. EDM is Electric Daisy. I'm music. sorry. What the fuck? What the hell is it? Like, uh, don't reach out to me and try to get it out of me. I don't oh know, my god, I don't you're you're not for. helping me right now. There's another class. Okay. US JDM and the Euro. No, not Euro. Mongol. I know there's Euro. The other one. I I still have no idea what you're reaching for. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. The point is, <laughs> if I remember, I'll tell you, but whatever. I just don't remember right now. He's going to be taking a shit later on and text me some random Probably. shit. Probably. I'm like, oh, what's this? I should have had that in the podcast. Um, they actually won. There was only two. Oh. Two okay. out of the three won. So then one poor bastard has to yeah, go that, home. I, yeah, I would hate to be that guy. And tell his mother how much he sucks. <laughs> but. That's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it just goes back to all that. If done first, maybe I'll, see, I'll sit there and be like, holy crap, you know, this, this is really is a becoming thing. a thing. It's really becoming a thing slowly. Because, like I said, there was no best stance. There was no best wheels. It was, you know, best lighting. And no, no I'm not talking about headlights. So, you know, strobe lights, uh, underneath, underglow, interior underglow, LEDs and every single type of crevice in the car type of deal. Uh, in car entertainment, best ice. Huh. TVs, PlayStations, the stereo systems, the crazy strobe lights, the rings, you know, it, all that mess of crap. Okay. All right. That's what the heavy hitter awards used to be. Now it's slowly become best stance, uh, best wheel setup. Lowest car. Like best wheel setup? They do the limbo now. They do the two-step No, limbo has always been a thing. I love that. L limbo has always been a thing for like... Since I can't remember for like 10 years now. Yeah, but at the end of it, you win an award, and guess what? You're the lowest fucking car. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. I even have videos of old shows that we used to go to, and we used to pack 15 members inside of a Scion XB. So that way it'll beat the stick. So, Jesus Christ, that poor thing was dragging on the ground. Like, it was horrible. But we, we, he won. He won one of them for being the lowest car. <laughs> just because we were stuck, like 16 of us, inside that damn thing. 16 members inside of one XB. 
I would love to know why and how it all worked. There you go. <laughs> what did he win? Lowest car. A, a plaque? Yeah, yeah, a trophy. Oh, was... I hope that paid for a suspension. <laughs> There's no coming back from Rode that. Rode home from four blown shocks. <laughs> four blown shocks. <laughs> and no oil, no oil pan by the time he got home. But, um... <laughs> Control arm bushings fucked to hell. Oh, my God. You know, best camber. Okay, yeah. That's, that's a thing, thing, though. That's a thing. That never existed. Uh... Oh, ready for this? I'm starting what? to notice more three-piece wheels as far as everybody goes. You go to a show, you mostly see three-piece wheels. You don't really necessarily see monoblock. No, you hardly see that anymore. That's like slowly. That's why I'm, I like, kind of want to hold on to mine because it's unique. Dying out, sadly. Three pieces are nice. I've told you this a million times. Yeah, but they're are they worth the price? No, absolutely not. Those damn things are overpriced. But they're cool. You would think they'll be shit. cheaper because they're in three pieces. Oh, you can build them. It's cheaper to No, build granted, them. yeah, if you know what you're doing. But, you know, it comes back to that. Half of these people spend their, you know, second their mortgage on wheels. And, on and their 401k on the damn wheels, and that's it. That's what you did, really, because damn things cost me $4,500, $5,000 for that. I mean, if you have it, God bless you. Go for it. You know, go ham, bro. It's, you know, your money. Do whatever. But Jesus Christ, if you're really starting to you know, jump into the car game, is that the way you really want to go? And then not be able to do anything else for like two years? If you get ready for this, if the car is old enough and you get the three-piece wheels and you can slam it and it's minty enough, ready for this? That's all you need, yes. That's uh, all that you depends need depends on the awards. car. It depends on the car. Ready for this? I'm, I'm going to give you three off the top of my head. Okay, go. E30. Yes. A nice set of three-piece or even two-piece, BBS style, personally, for me anyway. And slam to the damn ground, and yeah, happy Done. day all day. 240Z. It's that little body. You can't, you can't deny okay. that little body. Yeah, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. The very clean JDM look. Very first-gen Skyline. Oh, with the round headlights. Yes. Oof, I am a fan of that one. But all you need is a nice wheel setup and a drop. If it's minty, you're fucking done. For the skyline, you need the front valence. That chin spoiler that just looks. That's a different ball game, yes. Oh, oh but damn. Do you damn, see what I mean? Bro. It counts as a full fucking build. Yes, but you're also looking at 30, 40, 50 years of rust that you have to peel off. Exactly. The fucking thing. And not even, forget about that. Forget about the rust part. But you're looking at car body lines that help you to that degree that all you really need is that. Well, not for anything. I like the lines on a Tesla. I really do. Tesla That's why does have I say, some pretty cool lines. They do. They do have some, like, crispy lines that, you know, I can sit there and manage in my head a two-tone on it. Yeah. My eyes closed. But that's why I say 20 years from now, if it's clean and has a little bit of setup as far as the wheels go and, and this, the, 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 the stance, mm -hmm. like the functionality of it, right. it'll be something that wins awards without a wide body, without this, that, the third. The only thing that boggles me with the whole Tesla thing and customizing one, because, again, I am the one that does a little bit of everything. So I do exterior, interior, performance. I mean, what do you really do for performance? Take another battery in it and call it a day? Like, that's, that's a, forget about it. I'm, you know, I'm being sarcastic. You got to tune, obviously. <laughs> you're tuning what, a battery? No, you're tuning the parameters that you're allowed to hit. So, what? okay, then ludicrous mode. Yes, but you just call Tesla. Be like, can you unlock it for a day? Thanks. No. From what I understand, there's something past that. After that 80% is spent, you can spend there's, 100%. You mean there's worse than, than the famous ludicrous mode? Absolutely. Tesla owners, if you're listening, please DM me. I would love to know a little bit more about this. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a public thing, but I can guarantee you he can always give you more power on that car. That would be insane. Like, look when Sandy hit. He allowed everybody to use the full capacity of their batteries. He has control of that via... Yeah, software update. It's one of those things. Amazing. Which is insanely cool. Imagine if I over-engineer a car and give you a bunch of batteries and say, all right, you know what, guys, for Christmas, I'm giving everybody 15 horsepower. Congratulations. That's dope. Which, in theory, he could. Like, That's really speaking, cool. Literally speaking, he could. Just literally a software update and send it out to every single damn Tesla owner. So that means there's room for capability. To the limitations of whatever he deems that generation safe. of battery cell, I guess you can 
safe. So I'm telling you, there's more okay, to be so, unlocked. Okay, there so there has to be. Okay, so maybe there is a way to get a little bit more performance. He's not a one trick pony, like so he's basic planning ahead. Tesla, I guess the base model Tesla. Yeah, or whatever it is. How would you do your audio setup? In a Tesla? Yeah. Bolt on pod speakers. Continue. What? No. What? Yep. No, really? Pod speakers? That's what, that's what you would do. You wouldn't do no, like no. two. Molded two... pod speakers. Bolt no, on. That's one. cute. That's all you're going to do. I would add maybe like four or five of them extra that's in the it. cabin. That is absolutely it. Maybe under the seats. Wow, your imagination is wilding today. Let me tell you. Let me catch it before it rolls off your head. Wow. <laughs> the Tesla to me. I'm talking about a... crazy. Show worthy. Oh, you, you got the subwoofers, amps. No, what you would do is uh, I'm assuming hook up. You're going Dominican with this one. No, I'm not going Dominican with this one. Well, you take that that frunk, you open that up, right, and you bombard it with all kinds of crazy shit. Right, right. I forgot their tr their trunks are in the right. So that's that like way, funk. what the hell are you talking about? When somebody's pissing you off in traffic, you hit the little thing, you pop the hood <laughs> on them. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> now they can't even see you in the mirror because. Their mirrors are rattled off their car because you decided to use all of your battery <laughs> on a fucking speaker. Okay, I get that. I get that. I mean, my, my whole point of that was, which you completely sidetracked the hell out of me. I'm good mind. at that. <laughs> do you use their power setup for your audio? Or do I hook up a yellow top? <laughs> yeah, like do you go to AutoZone, get like two yellow tops and call it a day? Well, that's the thing. He hasn't cornered that market yet of customizing his own vehicles as far as... Like West Coast just did that one, guys. Right, okay. If Elon Musk was to open that up, I guarantee you there's a revenue center for that. Somebody who wants something custom on their Tesla via Tesla. I promise you. I don't know. I don't see him doing that, though. I don't see him jumping into that. He doesn't I care mean, if he's eliminating he thinks... already, if he's eliminating like, the, the metallics already from his, from his line, like if you're sitting there and going to like build your own Tesla and you can't already pick metallic colors, you really think he's going to open up a department to be like, hey, what do you want done in your interior? Well, that's the thing. He, what I'm assuming is what he wants to do is semi-streamline the manufacturing of that Tesla mm -hmm. to the point of how Ford was, Jesus Christ, when the Model T rolled out the damn thing. It was black and that was Boom, it. next so person. You didn't Boom, like black, next well, guess person. what? You're Boom, getting black. Boom, next person. Yep. You know, that type of deal. Granted, is he going to get to that level? No, of course not. But the point is, streamline them enough that he can pump out maybe 10 more in the day or 15, 20 more. And make more, that revenue on that 10 more. And get the revenue on that 10 more. So I don't see him ever getting to that level of, and eh, let's have a subdivision for customized ones. And a, I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe he will. But if know. he was to open up that shop as a Tesla customization hub, people would go to I it. I do see that. I think, I think people, that would be a thing. Yeah, Everybody wants I, some I sort of seasoning that. on their food. Yeah, yeah no, it's Every, true. Barbecue, it's true. salt, pepper, There's ketchup. one thing I have noticed that... There's a market for it. Yeah, one is a market for it. And as a businessman... And, uh, and when it's he, congratulations when that, to the ones that have pulled off like the carbon fiber stuff and like the white body. Uh, yeah, I give them credit. Those are cool. Credit because you have really grabbed the niche of a market that not a lot have done. So I do give them credit on that. But I don't believe they're going to sell whatever they make for themselves. Mm -hmm. True. They might rock it for a year and then sell it. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see the. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't see the Tesla owner being the one that keeps a Tesla. For for <laughs> for longevity purposes. For longevity, I don't. I don't. Uh, if you're going to car shows with it, you, I doubt that you're gonna keep it for longevity purposes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see them. I could be wrong a million times. But Your average commuter will keep it because guess what? It's going to be a, a car that... I know. It's a freaking tax write-off at the end of the day. So, you know, power to you. You can't beat it. But for stick. the one that wants to really get one and, you know, go ham on it and customize it, you know, may just make it look different from every other day. You can't one. see them committing to the car. I don't, I don't see them being... Dying with the car in their garage. Yeah, no. It's one of those things. It's not like, love of God, I'm my 76, just sitting there. I could just like, start up and, and go and enjoy it. But I can see... The longevity of that. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. Or anybody else that hooks up I guess because we've lived it. Get rid of it. We, we, got, we got to live our lives looking at cars like that. We haven't lived our lives looking at cars like Tesla's. Because he's the first breed True. of his own. It, it really is a breed of its own. I don't know. It's That's interesting. why I say subdivision. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you. At the end of the day, I'm with you on that. I don't ever see it picking up too much steam. Well, if we start seeing one or two or three pop up. At, car shows? at the Absolutely. shows or on the area, Absolutely. you know, where we go. Yeah, I do see that happening. Or that, that, that basic stock one that's just wrapped. 
Yeah. Intent, and that's it. That's all you that, need. That, that's it. You're done. We're definitely going to see something. Hopefully, I mean, it would be cool to at least see one that is, oh, shit. You know, it kind of makes you stop and, you know, hmm, okay, okay. You're not going to pull your potential. phone out to take pictures, but you're going to look at it and have to walk around to do a lap. It's going to have to impress the crap out of me. Really? Yeah. Do I it. just want to see it done. I've seen some crazy ass cars. I see some crazy ass cars that make you really think twice, or at least leave you with the sensation of like, damn, I, I wouldn't mind having one of these. That's when you know they did a good mod. That's when you know. Yeah, that Cut has bumpers. happened to me several times. <laughs> what? Cut bumpers. Oh Jesus Christ! You First time I seen that, I was like, ah. You and your damn. We're about bumpers. there. But I don't know. I'd love to see what you guys think about the whole, you know, paint versus wrap versus dip. What's your favorite? trend i guess or what do you prefer over the other ones and for the tesla owners i don't know fill us in on how it is to own a tesla and drive a damn tesla i guess or if you even customized one don't do that because it's gonna they're gonna describe fucking a supermodel to you and who knows if it's really like that it why not they're gonna be biased but that's why i want to know i want to know their opinion i want to know the horror stories about them no oh that's true i would love to see like did your battery really not work when it's that stupid cold? Did your car blow up and you weren't able to put it out and it was inside your house? Because you can't put those batteries out. Did you overcharge your batteries? Think <laughs> about if, it. If that's even a thing. But I, I wonder if that's ever happened to anybody. That's a good question. I mean, I would, we, I would love to know, like for the Tesla owners out there that are listening, you know, DM us, C4 Lifestyle Media, uh, and just fill us in. What's your, like, what's the whole thing about the whole... You know, customizing a Tesla, if you have customizer, if you've done a few things to it, or if you've wrapped it, or if you got didn't just didn't like the color and you decided, why not, four or five grand, let's repaint the damn thing. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or dipped it, whatever. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Or, or your horror stories, yeah. What have you guys, like, had to deal with? Or, like, you know, just the I want to know that. Like, we have to deal with, you know, either a battery or a rotted line or... Uh, rust rust you know what i mean it's one of those things like what have you guys have to really deal with in the nightmare world of the car stuff like owning a tesla i mean yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else you want to add in <laughs> no that's that's that that's, was the that's, whole that was pretty much the whole thing <laughs> so yeah fill it fill us in on what's your favorites so between the paints and the wraps and the dips and for the Tesla owners, if you've customized it, and please send a picture because we'll submit, you know, we'll post it up on our story. And we'll put it up as a post as well. So we'll love to hear a little bit more. As always, my friends, we hope you like episode two. Feel free to like us on Instagram and YouTube, pretty much C4 Lifestyle, C4 Lifestyle Media. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and Jesus Christ and everywhere else. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you, everybody, for listening. As always, keep it custom because life's way too short to stay stuck. Peace.